Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. As you can see, I'm in Tost Arena and it's night time. Uh, this happens normally during the story, partway through. If you look at the moons I've got, you can see I've done the showdown on the inverted pyramid, but I haven't done the um, last one. The like one where you fight the fight Knucklatech underground and all that. Um, so what normally, what you would normally do in this, at this stage, is go immediately to the hole underneath the pyramid and do that battle, and then it would be daytime again. So, in normal play, it's not nighttime for very long, so I thought I'd get to this point and have a bit of a look around and see what we're missing by, um, you know, immediately doing the next story moon and skipping ahead to the next part, basically. So, yeah, I'm just gonna look around in the, at nighttime a bit and see what I can find. Um, I do know it's a bit dangerous to wander around at night. I'll demonstrate why. Why? Heading out into the desert like this? Yeah, these guys will spawn pretty much everywhere that isn't just in the middle of town. So you gotta watch out for that. Um, what you're supposed to do, I believe, is get a jaxi from here and then ride the jaxi all the way over to the hole in the desert. But we're not gonna do that just yet. Um, so, for the most part, stuff is the same at night as it was before. Some of the power lines are showing up now, so you can get around a bit more easily than you could before. Uh, you can see we can take the power line up this way. Uh, but the other power line that would show up over here does not come up until daytime, uh, when you actually do the last story moon. So, as far as I can tell, it's impossible to get on top of the pyramid uh, at this stage because there's no warp point up there. Um, and the slingshot's not there yet either. Basically, all the ways you would use to get up there aren't, don't show up until... Um, like, once the pyramid rises up, which happens after you've done the previous moon, uh, all the ways to get up there are gone until you do this moon, basically, as far as I can tell. Um, but we'll see if we can figure out a way to get up there. Uh, I have a feeling you can't, though. Just based on what we have at our disposal. Uh, let's grab a bullet over here. Give me a bullet. <laughs> that wasn't quite what I had in mind, but let's try that again. Um, give me a bullet. I think we don't have enough height. Yeah, but we're, we're way too low from this. I can get into one of these, but that doesn't really help us. Uh, you can see the pyramid is way up there. Uh, if we could get on top of the pyramid, we might be able to get into it, like from above, but there's no way to gain that much height as far as I can tell. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, we can go over there, and well, there's not a lot to do over there, but we could go over there. You can see a bunch of stuff's actually spawned already that happens after you do the story. Like, um... Let me just climb up here. Uh, that moon in that cage there doesn't show up at the beginning. Like, that only shows up once you've done a couple of the story moons. I think it's now, at night time, that it happens. Also, that painting over there has been filled in. Uh, so we can jump ahead to Metro Kingdom and get its moon if we wanted to. We don't have to, but we can. Uh, I did think that also required you to do the whole story, but you don't, which is interesting. Uh, you can get that moon without too much trouble. Uh, we could actually go through the ruins and do it the normal way, but you can also just do it this way. See, that's really easy. I actually did this by accident earlier, which is why this moon's been collected. I accidentally did the trick and then, like, landed he about here. And I couldn't get back out of the chest without grabbing the moon, so I got the moon. <laughs> anyway, um... So yeah, that one's real easy. Uh, what you're supposed to do to get up here, by the way, is you go over... ...this direction. Uh, over here in the ruins, you can, uh jump into that hole there, uh, where there's this quicksand. 
Uh, you go down the hallway, you go through the passage, and then that brings you out with a warp pipe on top of that ledge over there. But you can just shoot the bullet much easier. <laughs> Actually, not really easier, just faster. It, it does take a little bit more effort. Um, but it's, it's not hard. You can also use the bullet to get that moon if you want. In a similar sort of way. There we go, that's not too tricky. Uh, I did think you needed to jump down from the pyramid to get this moon, but you don't. You can do it like that. Well, let's go ahead and grab it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> um, so yeah, as far as I can tell, there just isn't any way to reach the pyramid. Uh, because it's so high up and you don't have glide on yet. <laughs> Uh, Glidon shows up on top of the, uh, stone tower over there, once you've done all the story moons. But at that point it's easy to get up because you have the power lines and stuff, so... It's cheating a little bit. <laughs> um, let me see, let me see... So yeah, if you, if you go wandering out in the desert, obviously you're gonna get attacked by the... These guys. They can be avoided, but they're annoying, so you gotta be careful. You can pretty much go everywhere at night still, it's just that these guys are going to get in the way if you're not careful. Uh, oh, better, um, yeah, and yeah, they, they don't work very well. Doesn't make sense. It's just, you, you can't actually jump on them. When you jump like on top of them, you just sort of go through. Um, which means if there's a bunch of them all together and you try to jump on one, you're just gonna fall and the other ones are gonna run into you. Instead of bouncing on one and then the other and then the other like normal enemies. Uh, I think the oasis is safe. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, okay, so you can come over to the, to the oasis at night and you'll be okay. By the looks of things, which is nice. But when you leave the oasis, of course, these guys come back. Cool. Um, I believe the uh, little puppy doesn't show up to get your moon that way until the shop shops uh, until the area thaws out. The pup's inside the shop, I think. Yep, there we go. Hello, pup. Good puppy. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, what I really wanted to achieve was getting on top of the pyramid. Like basically getting inside the pyramid from the bottom entrance. I, I believe you can do it uh, if you have access to the top of the pyramid. You can get to the bottom of the pyramid without going through. Uh, by like, jumping off the top and using some tricky jumps to get to the front door. Uh, if we make our way over here, I can sort of show you. Uh, it's a little hard to see from here, but the entrance is on this side right near the bottom there, and if you get to the top of the pyramid, you can jump down and use a cap bounce and carefully make your way inside, but obviously we can't do that uh, because we can't get to the top of the pyramid. Uh, since there's nothing else that's anywhere near as tall as that that we could use to climb up, and the power lines haven't shown up yet, and the slingshot hasn't shown up yet. So yeah, it looks like basically the pyramid becomes completely inaccessible once you've done the moon on top of it, until you do the next story moon. At which point you can get the pyramid again. So that's interesting. Um, like locking you out of an area like that is uncharacteristic of this game, I would say. Uh, but apparently that's what they did in this case. Um, you can get pretty much everywhere else, you just can't get to the pyramid anymore because it's in the air and there's nowhere to get up to it just yet. Um, I wonder why they didn't put a warp on top of the pyramid. I guess it's pretty close to the one on top of the stone tower once you've got, got the power lines, so it wouldn't have made a big difference, but eh, it's kind of weird. I want to go and see over here if the, uh, if the racers are already here, the Koopa free running. I think you have to do all the story moons which show up. Yeah, you do. Yeah, 
It, it shows up outside uh, here, basically just just near this Jackson stop. There'd be a Cooper you could start free running with, but not here yet. Uh, here you can just do a long jump to get on top of here. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, you can't use this thing yet because it's frozen. Uh, there would also be a power line here, which would lead you up onto the pyramid, but it doesn't show up to your battle moons. Story moons, double story moons. So yeah, um, you have access to nearly everything at this, in, in Night Toss Arena, you just can't reach that pyramid in the sky. Uh, hmm. The only other way you get up high enough, maybe, eh, that's way too far. I'm thinking if may maybe you came back to this kingdom using the secret exit over there, but the secret is way over there, and it's over here. Like, the, it's like here, which is the exact opposite end of the level, so, yeah. Not really an option. Hang on, there's a bird. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> cool. Um... So, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in the experiment. Just whether you can get into that get into the pyramid uh, at night, and it looks like you basically can't. So that's the experiment done. <laughs> um, so yeah. I, I think in the next episode I'm gonna try to get into the pyramid uh, without using the slingshot, basically. So I'll use the power line to get on top, and then try to get into the door uh, at the bottom there, just by doing a trick jump from above. Um, but obviously that won't be as difficult as this one that's clearly impossible. Uh, that'll be a bit more practical as experiments go. It'll just be hard instead of obviously impossible. So I think it's hard. Um, if I get a bit closer, we can have a better look at the challenge that faces us here. Let's just get ourselves up here. So, um,. Yeah, the power line takes you to the very top of the pyramid, which is just, it's a really big, sort of wide platform. Uh, we've been up there before, but it was, you know, down before the pyramid rose out of the ground. Oops. I've been to climb to the top of that, but it's going to be quite working. <laughs> oh, anyway. Um, but yeah, you can see, it's like, once you make your way down, there's going to be a lot of gap to make your way across to, to the right spot to reach that door. Um, obviously you could choose the slingshot to get there, but I want to try to do it without the slingshot from above. Um, I think you can also use glide on to do it, but I don't want to do it that way either, so I won't. <laughs> uh, okay, um, anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, I guess. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to look at, so I've, I've looked at it now, so thanks for watching. Um, Hope you enjoyed, um, and if you've got an experiment you want me to try out, let me know, uh, otherwise the next experiment will be me trying to do this in the daytime instead. Uh, so I'll, you know, finish off the last story moon here and then I'll do it. Anyway, yeah, um, bye! <laughs>